So let's look a bit more into the mapping of analog frequencies on digital frequencies. Yeah, so we let's just draw this diagram here again, what I've drawn already before. So we have got here our frequency distribution of our signal here. So we've got here our FS half, and this is here the spectrum of our signal. So now we know that this could have been also arisen from a signal around FS. Yeah, so, so the signal could be could have been also sitting here in this area. So now let's let's look now at the mapping of these frequencies here. So how is the mapping here? So let's just start with a frequency above Fs here. So let's say we have a frequency here. Yeah, so that's somewhere above Fs. And obviously this maps on a frequency which is here. Yeah, so the difference between these two frequencies is just exactly Fs. Yeah, so we're just subtracting basically Fs minus Fs and we are arriving at this frequency here. So now there's, um, if we go to the other side here of the spectrum, so imagine we have frequencies sitting here, then this mapping is going to be a bit more tricky. So imagine we have, we have a frequency here. Yeah, so, so this frequency maps essentially here to this point here. Yeah, so and we have a frequency here, this map to so this point here. So this means if we are if we are going up with frequencies here, we are actually going down here on this side. Yeah, so if we have a frequency here, let's let's call this here F one or something like this. And this one, this one is here let's call this here F1 tittle and twiddle or something like this, then this would be generated. So this F1 twiddle with Fs minus F1. Yeah, so we are subtracting this here. So we are taking the Fs here and creating the mirror just in, a re in the reverse order. So now with this idea here, we can draw a diagram So where we have our F analog here and we have our F digital here. So if we put our FS half here, so that's our Nyquist frequency here, then we now, yeah, and we're putting also our FS half here, then we now there's a perfect mapping between these frequencies here. But now we've got the Fs here, and now we know that, that in this period here, this goes reverse. Yeah, so if this frequency here becomes Fs, we are getting zero out there. So this goes down again. And so now, if our frequency is at Fs, yeah, so we are basically here, at the DC again, so we are, um, we know this already from our previous drawings, and um, so now we are just subtracting Fs here. So this means this just goes linearly up again here until we are here at Fs plus half Fs, and so on and so on. So we have a 
beautiful mapping here. 